Have you wanted to visit Guadalajara but do not know how to go about it? Or maybe you have not traveled through Mexico but would like to learn more about how to do it? Or perhaps, like myself, you haven't traveled much through the pandemic but are ready to venture out there? Hi, my name is Paco and I'm the host of Coffee and Headlines, our morning live broadcast on Facebook, where we share stories, news, and headlines for the English-speaking community here in Puerto Vallarta. I recently spent a weekend in Guadalajara with some friends, and this was my first urban vacation since the beginning of the pandemic, and I made sure to document as much as possible of my trip through videos and photography so that I could share it with you in a special presentation that will take place this coming Saturday, May 28th at 3 p.m. local time. In this presentation, we will break down the experience of traveling to Guadalajara, starting with considerations to take into account before you even make your hotel reservation. We'll offer suggestions on navigating through Mexico's bus system, including what to bring along for the ride and what to avoid packing. An introduction to Guadalajara and why you may want to visit our capital city in the first place. Ideas and suggestions on hotels for every budget. Getting around Guadalajara safely and inexpensively, particularly the downtown area where you will find a number of essential cultural stops you may want to consider during your trip. We'll also share ideas on finding restaurants for every budget, along with a couple of personal recommendations. And of course, we'll share essential tips to make sure that you are ready to enjoy Guadalajara as best as possible. The date for our presentation is this coming Saturday, May 28th at 3 p.m. local time. And the presentation is put together for members and supporters of Coffee and Headlines. If you are already a member, you will receive timely information via email on how and where to enjoy the presentation. And if you're not already a member, consider supporting Coffee and Headlines year-round, as this will probably be less expensive than the money that you will save with some of the tips and suggestions that we are going to share with you. To support Coffee and Headlines, simply visit the link on the screen, which will also be available for you to click in the text of this message. See you Saturday. Too much? Too much? Too soon? I'd never done a self-promotion clip like that before. Um, I hope it wasn't too much. But hey, the cat's out of the bag. We're doing Guadalajara on Saturday. I was watching some comments go by as it was playing. I noticed that Mijal, who was one of my co-pilots in Guadalajara, said something along the lines of the fact that she won't be able to watch. But that's okay, because even if you cannot watch live, you will get a link to watch, and you can watch whenever you want. The, of course, the only difference is that if you're not watching live, you won't be able to ask specific questions during the broadcast. But we're doing this this coming Saturday, and I hope you'll join us, and I hope you'll have a good time getting to know more about how to best enjoy Guadalajara on a budget. Yes, we went on a budget, and uh, we loved every minute of it. But I don't want to get ahead of myself or detour from the important stuff that we talked about, that we're going to talk about today. This is Coffee and Headlines, and I want to say good morning to everyone. Oh, yes. You know, we don't dive into news from other places, but this is, this is something that we should all know about and be mindful about and send good vibes. Thank you very much, Alan, for that. Anyhow, um... This is Coffee and Headlines. We share news, news about Puerto Vallarta, about Mexico, about our country, our state, our city. We share your comments, ideas, and suggestions, all with the hope to get us to become more connected with our surroundings, more connected with ourselves as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta. Many of us live here full-time. Some of you of course, have Puerto Vallarta engraved in your 
in your soul and make frequent visits or come for long periods of time. Regardless, if you find information that is helpful or useful to you, just get yourself comfortable and grab your favorite beverage as we go through the headlines this morning, which unfortunately involves some somber news that we have to share. Uh, but then we have some lighter stuff as well. So before we get started, as always, if this is your first time watching live, please feel free to let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comment and we'll be so very happy to give you a nice little welcome. And if there's something important that you wish to share, please um, add a capital letter Q and that way we will make sure not to miss your comment as we get into the comment section later on in the broadcast. So let's go to it. Okay, we start with sad but important news. Euridice Paredes, state attorney for Child and Teenage Protection Services in the state of Jalisco, was in Puerto Vallarta to supervise the three child children's shelters in our municipality, uh, including health, administrative, and judicial issues. But more importantly, she stated that in coordination with the state's prosecution department, the director of Refugio Infantil Santa Esperanza was apprehended for accusations of sexually abusing a minor. She was not able to offer more details, she said, as the case is currently under investigation and other victims could appear in the process. RICE, as the shelter is commonly referred to by the local English-speaking community, is home to 28 minors from babies to teenagers. The director, who was not named in the news item, has been replaced by an interim director while investigations into this matter continue. As an aside, I should say that there is a number of very well-intended, hardworking, passionate, loving volunteers that work with the refuge. And I certainly hope that this situation will not in any way tarnish the wonderful work that they perform there. Unibus Bebe continues to be the target of complaints and accusations by locals that use their service on a regular basis. According to Unibus, 266 city buses in their fleet have air conditioning and an additional 67 buses are scheduled to be overhauled accordingly. But the issue is not whether the buses have AC or not. The issue is that drivers do not turn the air conditioning on, apparently, and that waiting time between buses in some tours is extremely high. All I can hope for is that all this attention that uh, the bus company is getting will push them to improving their services for all of us. When it comes to tides, you can now pick your color as both red and green tides are now a problem at local beaches. Warning flags have been raised at, uh, to warn beachgoers of the fact that swimming in the ocean might not be the best of ideas at this time. Moving right along, Puerto Vallarta Mayor Luis Michel continues to provide updates on the pavement work presently being undertaken by the city in Colonia Palmar de Aramara along Oceano Indico. Great news for residents in this neighborhood, and particularly now as the rain season is approaching. And I have an interesting update. As we know, the tourism Tianguis over Marketplace is taking place in Acapulco, and Federal Tourism Secretary Miguel Angel Torruco announced that started, starting in July and August, there will be uh, direct connectivity to the Maria Islands, which we mentioned rather frequently a few months ago. The fact that the ferry service will be available from Mazatlán and San Blas is not news. But what caught my attention is that a direct flight will also be introduced from Puerto Vallarta to the Islas Marías. In addition, 120 villas are being equipped so tourists can spend a maximum of two nights during their visit. Apparently, it will be the Secretary of the Marines that will provide ferry and air transportation services and not Vidanta as was suggested earlier. 
in the season. Now we turn over to the weather forecast to see what's going on out there. According to my sensors, it's sunny in this region. They also found six local singles who want to meet you. Oh, that's scary. Snarky weatherman, I am afraid of love. I don't want to know anything about that. What I want to know is the fact that uh, it is 24 degrees Celsius right now. Feels like 26. Humidity is again high at 62%. And our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 76. Our weather forecast for today is, says it's going to be a clear day with a high temperature of 31 and a low temperature of 21. Thursday, tomorrow, it'll be another clear day with a high of 32 and a low of 23. And on Friday, it'll be a partly cloudy day with a high of 32 and a low of 23. Still no signs of precipitation, although I should mention the fact that the nice folks at Meteo Mix provided another update. According to them, that potential tropical storm formation brewing south of Puerto Vallarta now has a 70% chance of developing into an actual tropical storm. And there she is, still unnamed, just roaming freely south of Mexico. And um, the first of many, I am sure, whether this will become uh, of concern to us or not is still to be seen. But of course, as always, I will keep you posted. Uh, moving right along, the traditional gay pride parade is back after a two-year absence, and it will take place tomorrow evening. So if you are out and about and driving, be mindful of the fact that a portion of Francisco Medina Asensio Avenue will close starting at 5 p.m., along with several streets in Colonia Emiliano Zapata to allow the parade to go by. In addition, some streets in Emiliano Zapata will close at midnight tomorrow for a street party. Now here's something interesting that you shouldn't try at home. In case you didn't know, Parker is an athletic training discipline in which practitioners attempt to get from point A to point B in the most fluid way possible without assisting equipment and in the fastest and most efficient way possible. And Danny Marmolejo, a Mexican champion, was in town to demonstrate his talent. Check it out, but kindly do not try this yourself. From the pedestrian bridge on the Rio Cuali. Ouch. I don't know that that is something that I would want to do, but look at that. Just something and I have another video for you that I found this morning. This one is about the crocodile that is, um, or was, come on notifications, let me navigate. There you go. Uh, apparently the crocodile that was hanging out near Los Tules is nicknamed Pancha. And Pancha has been relocated to the Ameca River so that she or he will find herself or himself in a more suitable habitat. Um, although the author of this news item expects that Pancha will find a way back to Los Tules, regardless and despite some images we shared of people hanging out quite close to the specimen, it is strongly advised that you keep a distance. We shared some photographs of people just chilling at the beach with Pancha just snoozing nearby. So. This is not something that is a good idea, folks. If you see a large crocodile or a small crocodile near wherever you happen to be, you don't want to be there. You want to keep a good, safe distance. And this is the news that we have to share for you today. Let me now remind. Oh, no, I have more. What am I talking about? I forgot about this because this just came in at the very, very last minute, just a couple of seconds before we were starting our broadcast, I got this little flyer from our dear friend Amy Armstrong, who's going to be doing a special Pride-related concert um, today on the 25th and on the 28th at Nacho Daddy. And what uh, um, attracted me to this uh, particular um, flyer is that she is accompanied by Brett Rowe, on the piano. Now, Amy usually performs with her friend Fernando and he plays a guitar. 
but we know Brett to be a very, very accompani accomplished accompanist and pianist. Um, we heard him uh, playing, where did we hear him play? During, I think it was during, yes, it was during the, the Rice concert at Teatro Vallarta. So to see Amy performing with Brett, who is such a skilled piano player, is something that I would definitely consider. Again, she's going to be performing tonight and on the 28th. And of course, before we leave, I want to remind you of our very own special presentation about Guadalajara, which will take place on Saturday. As usual, I will share the, the, the YouTube link with you uh, so that you know where to click and where to go. This is an exclusive broadcast for those of you that support coffee and headlines through a membership or through occasional coffees as a token of gratitude because ultimately it is you who empower our adventures and we are most grateful for that uh oh somebody asked about luna come here baby I, I, come here i'm gonna take advantage of the fact that my little girl is hanging out with me this morning and I want to let you know that she is mellow as always. She is just chilling, keeping me company. And and here she is. So do you want to go back to snoozing so that I can continue with readers' comments? I mean, viewers' comments? Okay, go back. There you go. Okay, so there we go. And now let's take a quick look at what everybody is thinking about, aside from your beautiful good mornings which we love to receive much appreciated uh ta -da -ta -ta, maggie i am glad to see that the news are still good we're keeping our fingers crossed and we're keeping our eyes and our eyes open and uh you're almost out of it you're almost out of it maggie is looking forward of course to the guadalajara show uh as i mentioned before michal just just watch the rerun you were there with me so i mean we had the best time. We really did. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mark says, happy birthday to wife and best friend Linda Vasquez. Well, happy birthday, Linda. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day along with Mark. Uh, let's see. Charan, chan, chin, chan, Doo -doo 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 Lots of good mornings. Brian liked the Guadalajara promo. Ay, thank you very much for that, Brian. Sometimes it's difficult for me to toot my own horn. Um, and bleh, I was just not completely happy with the narration. But, you know, it's out there and hopefully it, it is what it is. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about all kinds of things from what to bring on the bus, what not to bring on the bus, why bringing change is important when you're taking the bus. Um, all kinds of like insignificant tips that all of a sudden become enormous. Why I always travel with an extension cord. Um, all kinds of things. Anyhow, let's see. Do, 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 uh, let's see, let's see more happy birthdays. Oh, wait, is it, is it also Angelica's birthday? Is it also your birthday, Angelica? Well, if it's also your birthday, well, happy birthday to you as well. Um, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, but Sage says, bus drivers not putting on the AC, that's not cool. <laughs> I know that that was probably not meant as a pun, but it reads like a pun and I'm loving it. Um... And Ryan, I appreciate your comment. I can't begin to tell you that I don't understand why they don't use the darn AC. Um, it is um, it is it is weird. I don't I don't. It is completely odd, as as you said. Um, Sherry says, what is Marea Verde or Green Tide? I've not heard of it before. Well, the good news, Sherry, is that we can all rely on Google to find out all kinds of things that we were that we have never heard of before. Um, oh, oh, Dan's getting his batteries replaced. Dan, our thoughts and good vibes will be with you this Thursday. Um, I hope you get good, new, fresh batteries <laughs> installed. And I know this is a serious procedure, but I am sure you will you will do just great. We'll be sending good thoughts for the rest of the weekend. 
Um, Sheila asks, how many flags and what are the colors to indicate if it's safe or not to swim in the ocean? What a great question, Sheila. I have no idea, but I suspect that there are indicators next to the flags to, in, to help the population understand what they mean. Um, but, you know, it's a good idea to find out about these things, Sheila. I'll do my best to do some research on that, and maybe I'll report that tomorrow. Thank you for a good question. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. <laughs> Dave says, if one needs to be told to stay far from a croc, there's more of a problem there than just that. Well, what can I tell you, Dave? It's the way it is. Uh, then I see comments about Luna. Yes, she is absolutely wonderful. Ronald says, I love furballs and I love my furball. Hey, where are you going? See, she's gone. She's already gone. Um, let's see what else. Kate asks, how many sat offices are there in the Puerto Vallarta area? To the best of my knowledge, there's only one, and it's the one on Francisco Villa, but I could be wrong. Um, and I'm making myself a mental note to add the location of the SAT office, which is the tax office, um, to our general reference map. I actually don't remember if it's already there, but I will remember to do this right after the broadcast is over so that we all can have access to this important information. Let's see what else. Um, ta -ring, ta -ring, ta -ring, ta -ring. Speculation about the bus. Maybe they don't use the AC because they're afraid people would just sit and ride just to beat the heat. You know, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's it's absolutely silly that they don't use the air conditioning. Anyhow, oh, thank you very much, Karen. Ocean swimming flags are green is safe, yellow is caution, red is dangerous. I sure hope that those are international um, or that those are the colors that are used in Mexico. I will also do some research on this because, again, it's important information, and I'm always grateful for all these reminders that you share of what we should be looking at. And um, this brings us to the end of our broadcast. I thank you once again for your companionship and for your questions and your comments and um, for being part of this community and for your um, nurtureship. I just made that up. For, and th I want to thank you for nourish, nur nur oh my God, I'm stuck. Providing nourishment, nurture. Okay, I think I need to consult my dictionary on my own. Stay happy, stay friendly, stay kind, stay in touch, and I will go do my due process and research right this very minute. Nourishment, is that what I meant to say? I'll figure it out on my own. Have a good day.